I'm Jim Comstock from Comstock Custom Cage. I used to be a fur trapper for a lot of years, and now I've gotten into ADC, but every once in a while, I'll catch a few beaver. They look pretty good, and I don't want to waste them, so I got to keep my hand in it, and I put a few up every year. This is the, little going over the setup that I got. This is the beams here for doing like uh, muskrats or otter, and then this is the wider one for doing uh, beaver. I use a uh, couple double-handled knives. This is the Necker knife here for the small beaver and the bellies on the big ones. And then uh, the sharper knife for the Sheffield for doing the uh, down the backs and the butts. So that's the, the beam set up. And uh, then I've got a, a table here that I made out of a red pine log. It's like 18 inch diameter and takes up no room at all. It's, I see the guys sometimes have these big tables set out, whatever, and they're using 48-inch boards and everything else. This is just a uh, uh, one of the beaver boards that I tacked on top of it. And a lot of people will take and use a, a great big 48 by 48 board. They'll cut a piece of plywood in half. Uh, you don't want to do that. It's it's most of the beaver aren't over 32 wide, and they'll they'll stretch about 40 long maybe. So what I'll do is take and cut the plywood um, at least five eighths or three quarters, cut it into three sheets, and then if you as you can see here, I cut the uh, the corners off, and then what we do is uh, you know put put two beaver on the, on the boards. I'm just going to pop this one off while I'm talking. But uh, if you've got two beaver on a board, you can hang them on hooks like I've got up above here. And in just the end of this room, I've got uh, enough to drive 42 beaver. There's 22 hooks or 21 hooks sitting on the ceiling there and I can hang them up. There's one of the boards hanging up. And then what you want to have too, I've got a fan over here, just an old junky old fan and I put it on low. And if you can keep the air circulating, it dries them up pretty fast. Even if it's not, even if you don't have a really warm room. I like to have a warm room and a cool room. This one I try to keep actually fairly cool and then I can bring beaver in. I just leave them on the floor and they're good for a few days if, if you don't get to them. When you're using uh, these, uh, these are sheetrock nails here I use to uh, tack them out with. The, uh, my wife used to smoke, smoke, <laughs> drink uh, French coffee, so I didn't see quite a few. And uh, so what I do is I take the, uh, um, the nails that, I, that I'm going to use on a beaver, the first, the first time I do it, I just dump a whole bunch of nails on the beaver, and when I tack it out, uh, whatever it comes to, I just write on the can. So like this is 67, 57, 62. So I'll write them on the cans, and nine times out of ten, when you take the beaver off, you'll end up with exactly the same number each time. Dump them back on, back and forth, back and forth, and then... You have a can with plus and minus you put a couple extras on if you need to but um here's one here what's this one about 62 i guess and then i brush them up just a little bit the idea too when you're handling beaver if you can Skin them one day and uh, hang hang the hides up either outside or so, just somewhere where it's cold. And the temperature is usually between 28 and 32 degrees. It uh, allows the, the fat to kind of lard up on them. Then when you scrape them, you don't end up with a big mess with the beaver, beaver grease running down the beam and dripping all over the place. But anyway... about it.